morning, everyone. On today's adventure, we are headed out of town in the old ambulance behind me there to Model T races out in Bruderheim, Alberta. Uh, some friends of mine have put on this fantastic race. They've got people coming from all over North America, and we're going to go take the whole family down and uh, watch the races. So should be lots of fun. We're going to get loaded up and then head on the highway. Here we are, arrived safe and sound in Bruderheim, Alberta. The kids are just unpacking out of the old ambulance and we're gonna have a cruise around. Bruderheim is located just an hour east of Edmonton. This is the first year for these races and they're hoping it's gonna be a great turnout. And so far from what I can see, lots of people did come and lots of cool stuff too. Have a look. So this is part car show, part rock and roll, and part racing. Lots of cool cars and even these really neat vintage Indian motorcycles. We're gonna have another look around and then head out and watch the races. Did you drive that car around? Look, <laughs> it has a big cowboy hat strapped on the hood. Okay, that's that's the car I think Abigail wants. Look, he's got a chicken. Your mom would really got wobbly wheels. So there's the track out there. They were gonna race on the dirt. Unfortunately, it rained last night, and now uh, they've got to race on the inner grass on the inside. So they've got a tractor out there cutting the grass and getting ready. So with luck, they'll be able to do their time trials in the next little bit here. But there's the old tractor cutting the grass and getting ready. the track. Number 37 is in the lead, followed by number 8. Wide gap between the two and picking up the rear is the old, the old rat rod truck there. there it goes. And that probably feels terrifyingly fast. Thank you. 
were some fantastic cars at the race, and many of them were home built, but that's exactly what they did back in the 50s when this racing was alive and well. We had a great look at some of the cars, and now we're going to watch some more hit the track. Last lap, the tragedy. Sure the red car there lost its wheel, broke off. And uh, Anderson, I think. The slow to a short the memory. But we'll get it. They're lining up three cars. Thankfully, Model Ts are really easy to work on, so these guys had some extra parts and were able to get the car mended and back on the road. Guess who's in the lead again? Very little. Peter's behind. Bob Wool. Now he's got a fast car. Bob's going to be coming up. They're taking that corner seriously. They've been around this track a few times. And he comes around the corner now. I think he's in first. Count your money. There he is, the winner. Last place all around, and there he is. Oh, he's on fire. smoke a little bit it's normal <laughs> nothing to worry about we'll give Bob Pilkey another 40 45 minute notice and he'll be up there no time. Oh, he's back on the road nothing like the smell of a burning seat. well that was a great race there was tons of cool cars lots of fun racing and great times we loaded back into the ambulance and headed back home to Evans. I sure hope you like these videos. If you like them, subscribe. You can check us out also at our website, curiosityedmonton.ca. But that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you soon.